Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is December 30th of 2017. I just now, within the last 15 minutes, received this. The Azul Byte Plus. It's a fanless Windows 10 computer. Uh, you can see the information on the screen. This has four gigabytes of memory. You can also get it with two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so, um, I broke the seal on the thing. It says if the seal's broke, it's used. I, uh, whoops. Let's see. Get the most out of your mini PC with IP Vanish. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it's something they want you to sign up for. They want to sell you, I'm sure. And this is it. It feels, it's metallic. It feels metal. It is metal. It feels really well. Uh, has a sticker on top warning you that this is fanless and that it, you know, can get, can get hot, especially if you're doing uh, some intensive stuff. But uh, no fan will be good because no fan noise. I wish all these companies would not put a sticker, you know, wouldn't put things on it that are, they're not easily peeled off. Of course, it helps if you have fingernails. Since this is going to get hot, uh, anyway, it feels great. Uh, here's where you can put a, I think it's a micro SD card. It uh, does Wi-Fi and it does 2.5 and 5 gigahertz. It has a uh, VGA port and an HDMI port. Uh, the power thing plugs into right here. It has, of course, a uh, has a Kensington lock or whatever it is where you can lock it down. Uh, and right above that is where the headphones or speaker will plug into. Then the uh, two blue USB ports are 3.0, and there is a uh, I think there's a 2.0. I guess that's it up here. Okay, that's it up here. And then you can also, which is good. Uh, plug in a cable, a networking cable. So, uh, I think that's everything, the on and off switch. Uh, man, I hate these labels. Why do they people do that? Maybe if I waited, the thing is actually a little bit cold because it was out in the delivery truck. Maybe I'd have waited to uh, uh, so we have the power supply will be in here okay there's some type of a jumper I have no idea what that is for and then there is a Oh, that's interesting. I guess that makes it easier if you're doing international. You know, you have this power thing and then you uh, just switch out this for whichever unit you're, you know, wherever you're uh, selling it at. There we go. This is the United States, so it's uh, 110 with that type of a plug-in. Not one of those crazy European ones that you see. What's wrong with you folks over there anyway? So, uh,
So that's it. Fanless Windows 10 desktop PC. Uh, connect to an HD TV monitor. Adjust the resolution of your video via the VGA monitor. Uh, choose graphic support. Uh, double click display. Configuring auto audio. Find us, uh, contact us, contact us. That's it. So I guess when this thing powers on, that's what we're going to find out. I'm going to stop. Well, let me show you this a second here. Here's the uh, configurations. You can get this two gigabytes with, uh, let's see if the price pop, 149, four gigabytes, 169, definitely go for 169. You can uh, bundle it with a keyboard, uh, with a keyboard and a camera, with a link a remote. I've seen that. It looks pretty interesting if you're going to be doing uh, with a Lynx remote and a camera, desktop only. It says Windows 10 Pro desktop only. Okay, so I guess this is going to have Windows 10. But if you wonder what the different price would be, let's see. $285 instead of $169. Temporary out of stock, but. So I'm going to stop here and don't touch your mouse because I'll be right back. After I hook this, find a monitor and hook this up and everything. Okay, I'm back. You should have seen the first video that I made. And then I think there's some images. Uh, oh, I forgot my notebook. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, this device. I'm not happy with it, but it was only $170. Um, It appears to be working. What? I'm not sure if you could tell by those pictures or not. Images. And I, my notebook is uh, that I have written down my notes. And I can't get up. I'm not wearing any pants. Where are my notes? I can tell you I can aim the camera a different direction. I'll be back. No, I can't go that direction. Got to go this direction. I'm back. Sorry about that. You may have to turn the volume up on this. I, all of a sudden, everything seems to go into hell. Uh, you may have noticed I'm running the Chrome box over here. Uh, anyway, um, the Byte Plus device here. When I first uh, got it, 
the, you know, they always tell you to, uh, got to make sure there's no passwords be showing here and stuff. Ugh. I don't know. Things are not going well here. When I first got the device, the, you know, they always tell you to, uh, I guess not always, but uh, with your Wi-Fi device, if you have two, you know, 2.5 gigahertz and five to go with five gigahertz, penetration is a little bit better with it. But I think the main thing is interference because fewer people set their devices to five gig. You know, some of them don't have uh, devices that'll do five or do both, you know. So I set it to five. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> one up. No, one down and less than one up was the speed at five. So I set it to 2.5, uh, and there it was uh, 34.8 down and 2.39. I actually then hooked a network cable direct into it, and it was 29 down and 3.7 up. Uh, on my computer uh, that's wired in to the, wife, to the uh, network cable, I get 60 down and 5 up, but uh, I also get like 30 or 35 or more down uh, using, um, on computers around here, using, uh, you know, Wi-Fi. So that wasn't good, but when I hooked the computer up for uh, Darlene, she's doing okay with it. There again, I'm not sure if you could tell by the uh, uh, images that I uh, put in, but I'm not sure if I did something wrong, but uh, it wanted to do Windows updates, of course. So it did uh, Windows updates. And then got the message that it couldn't continue with more Windows updates that it needed to do, that there was some uh, critical security updates that it needed to do before it could do more Windows updates. And it got that screen. I'm sure you could see that screen. Still getting that screen, by the way, occasionally in there. So I don't know. Uh, I put in... This is not one, but I put in a uh, 256-gigabyte uh, uh, memory into it, and it sees that as D drive. That's good. But I just think there's uh, something waiting to happen. And because we keep getting that message that uh, that it needs to do these critical, and what it needs it oh, like a C drive is just about totally filled, uh, and you only get uh, thirty two gigabytes uh, of that memory, and it's almost all taken up. And I think the problem is that when it does these memory, when it does the upgrades for Windows, it puts stores that temporarily. Then when it does what it needs to do, then it erases that. And I think that um, that stuff is there and can't get erased because it needs to do these other. So I think we're sitting on a time bomb here where we're going to have. Uh, so anyway, I went and looked at, I went to their site and I thought, well, uh, I'll just put, maybe put Linux on, you know, Ubuntu on it, Linux on it. And I didn't go into all the detail, but I went there and it said, you know, okay, you have to download this Red Hat uh, thing. I used Linux Red Hat a long, long, long time ago. 
since then they've changed quite a bit and they've become, I think they're partnered with uh, Microsoft and others. It's become, uh, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't see any way, I didn't go into detail. I don't see any way to, you know, there's no CD drive. Uh, it's not, by the way, uh, this uh, Byte Plus, so far as booting up, you know, I mean, it, it boots up right w when I first got it and hooked it up. Man, it boots up right away, or booted up right away. You know, it asked for the, you know, your name and the password and did all that great. I wish, I'm running, like I said, now the Chrome box over here. I wish it was like the uh, Chrome box in that I could just go in and change the setting and then have it all fresh again and so I could start over and what I would do is start over with it and not do any critical updates or anything uh, I think that may be a mistake that I made doing it that way I don't know but anyway Darlene is uh, using it and uh, She says, oh, that's no better than the Chrome box. Um, and uh, I said, well, I'll, I'll put the Chrome. And she said, oh, they're the same. It doesn't matter. I said, which do you prefer? It doesn't matter. They're both the same. So I waited a couple of days, and then I've got the Chrome box set up here for uh, me to uh, play with. And I'm very happy with the Chrome box. But uh, uh, she wasn't for numerous reasons that I went in in the past when I talked about the Chromebook and the Chromebox. So I just wanted to upgrade you. Uh, another thing, speaking of upgrade, uh, update, uh, when I got the Chromebox, it came with four gigabytes of memory, the Chromebox. And did I go up to 18 or 16? And... Uh, So I went to the site for the uh, Byte Plus here, and I thought that uh, could I would I be able to uh, you know upgrade the memory and put in uh, maybe a different SSD drive? Is that what it has? Is that the drive an SSD drive? But it's only uh, 32 gigabytes. Can't remember now, but. Uh, there doesn't appear that there's no, in fact, one of the questions was, can I upgrade on their site? Can I upgrade the, uh, and they said, no, you you know, you can't. Now, they have more expensive units, and, uh, well, of course, you probably wouldn't have to upgrade those because you could just buy them with more. Heck, you can spend, uh, they've got some that are really expensive, but that, which I wouldn't buy if I was going to do that. I would just buy a desktop, full-size desktop computer. And maybe that's the direction I'm going to go. That, you know, I'll see how long this works for Darlene. Um, and from talking to you people and getting some feedback from you on some videos I've made prior to this, I was looking at, you know, $1,500 for a new computer that would have uh, all the power that I needed, not for game playing, what well, would have all the power I needed for, but for working with 4K video and uh, rendering it and that type of stuff. And from the feedback you got and from looking that I did and researching, uh, you all are right. I don't need that type of power. Uh, I just need a fast you know, core processors. I have five now, i5. I'd be much better, you know, with uh, seven or eight. I And now I have uh, 16, I believe, of gigabyte in this computer, my desktop computer. So I think I could get by with, for sure, with a $700 computer. Maybe with a five. Well, with the $700 computer, I have the video card in 
this computer now and I even have a better video card than that one and I think my grandson has one better than uh, the one I have here in the closet I believe so I really could knock off a couple hundred dollars off the price of a seven hundred dollar computer or even a five hundred dollar computer because of the video card so anyway I you know I would give this uh, bite plus you know five stars you just have to be, you know, you're spending $170 and, and uh, whatever, but depending on what you want to do, I think you'd be better off with uh, Chromebox, although it depends on what programs you want to run and that type of thing. So uh, I thank you very much for watching. I'll be making, a, I'm going to make another video here pretty quick to kind of let you know what's, what's going on around here. Kind of feel like I'm falling apart or things are falling apart. And here's 2018. I should be optimistic and looking forward to the future. But uh, I think the volume is down. And I ran into that the other day. Uh, my uh, computer program here all of a sudden that I'm using doesn't seem like it wants to do the entire widescreen that's one reason I because the first then I brought this monitor in bigger monitor and messing with that and now I just don't know what's going on I think I just need to I don't know it's cold I know it's nothing compared to what the rest of the country is suffering here in Texas Fort Worth it's cold uh, so my daughter who as you know loves cats got she has a cat that's a sweet cat that has though bit her in the hand she's got an infection in the hand my grown daughter and uh, she's refusing to go to the doctor because she doesn't have health insurance so just a lot of stuff going on so Anyway, thank you very much for watching.